What's up, everybody? It's your man, Rob P., and it's day 18 of the Discover God Challenge. Listen, we talked a little bit yesterday about dreams and what you can get from or gain from having dreams. The Bible says that warning comes before destruction. So today I want to talk a little bit about warning and how to take heed to dreams that you are having. Uh, I want to come from Daniel today, um, chapter 1 and chapter 2. There was a king by the name of Nebuchadnezzar. He had a dream. And the first thing it tells me is that he was very troubled in his dream. His, his spirit was vexed in the dream. So he sent for, watch this, astrologers, Chaldeans, uh, magicians, all to come and tell him his dreams. Now, they could not tell him his dreams. So this lets me know that those copycat systems, they have limitations. They the, Only God, the gift giver, the dream giver can give you the interpretation of a dream. And that's when Daniel was notified and notice the first thing he did, he didn't say that I could interpret the dream. What he did is he went and went back and told his three friends and they went before God and they prayed for the interpretation of the dream. Listen, God can give you the interpretations of your dreams. You have to go to God. This is not about you. The, the gift is from him. He knows how to administer it. So he, they went before God and God gave him the interpretation of the dream of the king's dream listen when you do it god's way promotion is coming to you when you do what god wants you to do he's going to make you and bring you before great men the scripture says that your your gift shall make room for you so so daniel went in and told the king his dream and he was he was promoted because he had showed him showed him the dream and Nebuchadnezzar blessed God, the God of Daniel, because he had done this for him. But a few chapters later, if you skip to chapter chapter four, Nebuchadnezzar had another dream. Even though he knew he was great, he had another dream. And he had a, uh, a dream about a tree that ro rose to the heaven and it provided for everything around him. Now, pride proceeds a fall. And uh, I mean, I didn't mention this, but. Nebuchadnezzar made an image of himself and he wanted everybody to worship him, worship the image. And you, you know the story of the three Hebrew boys. They would not worship. They would not bow and worship. When your defiance is is a mean of worship to your God, God will provide, provide for you. And many people take it out of context as saying, you know, you can do anything and God is going to. God's going to watch your back or and take care of you. But no, their defiance was a, a means of worship unto God. They would not defile themselves and worship to other gods. But anyway, getting back to Daniel 4. Daniel 4, uh, it, it pretty much showed Nebuchadnezzar that he was headed for judgment. And it says, if you read it carefully, it says that he would lose his mind and he would go with the beast of the field. So he would have the mind of a beast for get this seven years i was telling you guys about the seven years cycles uh nebuchadnezzar went crazy for seven years he lost his mind because he had risen so far in pride and uh he was cast into the field and he lost his kingdom over that but his son had you know taken over the kingdom but i feel that's enough information for the day read the book of daniel it is so powerful concerning dreams concerning uh what's to come uh daniel was very close to god if you notice that he prayed he he did a bunch of of things and he he found favor with god and that's what we want in today's society we want to find favor with god so you can know what's about to happen so you can know what's coming and that you can have an understanding listen you don't uh, consult these other these copycats systems these medians i know some of you guys are amazed but their power is limited it is a small source and all power comes from god all god has to do is cut off the power and they will have no power all right i hope this is blessing you discover god challenge there is one true and living god and we're here to find them all right god bless